Hello, greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm Dan the Wolfman. I am a SAG actor, stuntman, former MMA fighter, got four black belts. Anyway, guys, as you see today, I'm going to do a pseudo unboxing video, but most importantly, also talk about accessories, different magazines, carry ammo, holsters, holster fit, etc. For my new, what is it? Is that a Glock 43X? Hmm, no, 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 maybe it's a 48. No, 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 look at that, look at that. Maybe it's a 36X? No, guys, this is a car CW45. I love this stain, stainless steel slide. Something I just picked up, I am a double stack, I've been a double stack 9mm fan. I wanted something in the Goldilocks uh, size and weight range, and this hopefully will fulfill a, a lot of needs and different rules for me. Uh, I'll talk more in this video and another video about the Goldilocks size and comparing it to other guns like the Smith & Wesson 9C and the PPQ SC. So basically guys, um, not a total unboxing because I picked it up yesterday and I wanted to work it out. So I've racked the slide about 330 times and for the most part the last 24 hours the slide has been locked back. That's a big old 45 round, but this is 185 plus P Golden Saber. And uh, it did not come with that ammo, nor this ammo. That's the magazine that it comes with. It's only 6 plus 1. That's kind of the problem because it takes up all this room with this butt plate. Also, people don't love car magazines. The gun is now clear. Let's talk about this. This is a 21.7 ounce, I believe, 21.7, 21.8, 21.7 ounce um, pistol. That's very light. Now, I thought about getting the bigger version, the CT45, but then it puts it up in the 26 ounce range, which is up there with all my double stacks that carry 15 plus 1 or even 17 plus 1. So, um, I decided to go with this because it still has a barrel length that will be pretty good in 45. This is a 3.64 inch barrel. A lot of competitors out there only 3 inch or 3.3 inch, which really doesn't give me enough velocity to believe in um, a lot of the hollow points uh, to get the muzzle energy up to above 9 millimeter, which is what I want, and to um, really get reliable expansion. Uh, plus, uh, this is the exact pistol that was used in Lucky Gunner's 45 test, so I can look at the ammo and know exactly what it's going to do, uh, which is a big benefit, especially in 45, uh, which is seems very dependent on uh, barrel length and therefore muzzle velocity. I happen to love... Uh, the barrel is very nice barrel this I like the sights but I love this stainless steel slide the trigger the slide stop I love the way that it's beveled I love the look of it I've always liked the look of it I've always thought about getting them I like the sights we'll see how I shoot with the sights speaking of the sights I believe you're not supposed to line them up like traditional sights I believe you're supposed to do that and put the top of this in the middle of the dot otherwise if you shoot it traditionally a lot of people reported um, this pistol shooting low and that might have to do with some of the trigger geometry right as it breaks as well you, you might get barrel dipping uh, but I think it's mostly because you don't put a flat against flat top because my zoom is gone on this camera so I can't really do it but more like that. So the top of here maybe goes in the middle of the dot. Now I'll shoot it for the first time tomorrow, but like I said with cars especially, cars and FNs really, you want to lock that slide back for one or two days. You want to hand cycle at least 200 times. I think I got like 330 or so. I've done workout routines of uh, cycling it 100 times in a row. And then even on the last little bit, um, that goes a little bit farther from lockup. Let's talk about this trigger. Okay. It's a double action, lightweight, five pound double action, striker fired, not hammer fired gun. So very, very unique. 
So, uh, you know, especially you skinny people thinking about appendix carrying, this is only an inch thick. The 9 millimeters are only 0.9 inches thick. And, you know, the safety is the heavy trigger. Not heavy trigger, but long trigger. So long, 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 but smooth, kind of stacking up in weight. And there's the wall. And there's the break. Here's the reset. It's a long reset, which I hope I don't mind. And I think in 45, I won't mind a nine millimeter, uh, you know, because of, because, because of the time to get back on target because of the muzzle uh, flip, if you will. Um, I don't think I'll mind as much. Uh, maybe a nine millimeter I would. I fired the CM9, the smaller pocket nine before. This is the intermediate size. So long, 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 but light and very crisp, very smooth and break. You can see where I got it from and a very good deal on, on this right now. There's where big old 45 looks like. I believe more important than caliber in the caliber debates is proper ammo selection for your barrel length. Um, so guys, six plus one, man, is that enough? No, not really. So what you do is you get a Rock Island Armory or a ACT mag, they're really made by ACT, for Rock Island Armory nowadays, you get an ACT mag. You might want to take note of where I got that. And look, it's basically the same height as the stock 6 plus 1 because of that base plate. And now it's 7 plus 1. So I got this, and uh, he even advertised that, it, that a lot of people were using this. Now, I took a lot of research on the car forums before I decided this purchase. I expect 99 to 100% functioning, not only um, reliability-wise, but slide lockback with this magazine. I've hand-cycled all the uh, most of these magazines twice through with rounds. I expect 99 to 100% reliability with this, at least once it's broken in, the pistol in general. So now I got... A really nice package of eight rounds of 45 pretty good pretty good I would prefer I would prefer eight plus one so this is also an act mag you might want to try McGar mags we'll see you need to watch my videos and see how it goes in the next few days shooting it now it's a plus one and now i'm really pretty comfortable with nine rounds of 45 or 11 rounds of nine millimeter that's kind of where my comfort level is i would prefer 11 rounds of 45 or 13 rounds of nine millimeter to feel totally comfortable but but nine of 45 or uh, 11 and nine millimeters kind of my comfort level and that's different for everybody believe it or not i thought i would definitely pocket carry with the uh with that one and I still may but actually I can pocket carry this with the eight rounder in and eight plus one nine rounds um, and in the shorts that I'm wearing Walmart cargo shorts and the nemesis holster we will get to holsters in a minute now I don't know if this is going to give 100% reliability people reported that one does they were more wanting the flush size fit uh, I'm a big guy I can get away with even this in my pocket I can get away with the 10 rounder on my hip so I don't know if this will give 100% reliability. I'm hoping I get at least 99% reliability as, as far as firing, and I don't uh, maybe 50-50 on slide lockback. Um, worries me is that in hand cycling, it was very difficult to eject the last eighth round out of the magazine. So just hand cycling it, I had a really, and I was jamming, and I had a, and that happened both times I did it. Um, you know, slide velocity is obviously faster than me hand racking it. But, um, I don't know. I, if you, you know, I, I hope it gives me the full eight round reliability. We'll see. I hope it gives me lockback too, may or may not. Okay, if you can see in here where the slide goes on both sides, I want you to see where the magazine, uh, basically magazine lips, front of the magazine lips come to.
This is a little long, guys, for people that really want to buy this. It really, it, to me, it's about, wow, I didn't realize I can get more rounds in the package. So I actually shaved that down with a file I bought yesterday. On this one, I've already modified and shaved down so it's not there. Now, did I need to? I'm not necessarily sure, because I put in the, the another 8-rounder, the same mag, in, and uh, the 10-round McCurr mag. So here's without shaving. Now, and I've also taken the slide to see where it was exactly. But it's a little bit right there, just a tiny little bit right there is actually above where it might rub on something. Now, I've hand cycle, cycled it, and I don't see the finish on the magazine coming off. But you see right there, it's just a tiny little bit above. So I don't know if it's necessary. Maybe they just shooting the gun will rub it off for you, but then you might get some metal shavings in your gun. So I wanted to hand file it. Not sure if I'm going to hand file the other ones tomorrow. I want to see if this functions first. And of course, the car says you need a 200 round breaking period anyway. Hopefully I've lowered that quite a bit by leaving it locked back for two days by that time. By the time I fired almost two full days. And by hand racking it so many times. on the gar mag. See just just a tiny bit right there. Just a tiny bit. When I run my finger there, I can see it. I can feel it. Just a tiny bit right there. And I look last night with the slide. It's just a tiny bit. And so what I did guys is I went and bought a eight dollar file uh, at a uh, automotive parts store. And I modified one, and that should do it. Now, the thing with modifying the magazines, these are the particular magazines you want. All 1911 mags, are more, a lot of them are more in the front. That's not what you need. You need either the top one's going to be act for full functioning, possibly no modification on the 7 round, maybe a little modification on the 8, maybe you don't even need it, or Magar. If Magar 8 round mags work great, then maybe those are even a better choice. I don't know. Um, but basically, you never want to touch this. You need it just a little bit here. Just a little bit there. Okay. So let's look at the one I, I shaved down. This video might be a little long, guys, because people are really interested in this firearm. This is what they want to know about is accessories and the magazines and the ammo and uh, holsters and all that. So you don't you don't mess with back here, you just mess with a little bit right right there at the top. Okay, because here's what really matters for the reliability, the feeding, and whatnot. Here's what matters for locking it in. These mags lock up. Some other mags may or may not lock up. Some people reported the 47Ds working. Some reported them not working. So, um, right, let's show you what it looks like. And for my hip carry, I can get away with either 8 plus 1 or even 10 plus 1 if this gives me full functioning. I hope it does. I really hope it does. So, guys, um, this being as light as it is and yet getting me up to an acceptable round count, that's why I got it. Now, it's going to recoil pretty good. 45 and 22 uh, is going to recoil pretty good. I'm going to break it in mostly with this blazer. 230 grain as long as it doesn't have problems doesn't have problems with the aluminum which I don't think it will uh, they do have problems with steel case uh, reportedly uh, but I don't think I'll have problems with the aluminum I hope not and now for some hand rocket fun which probably won't be fun <laughs> look what I found don't find this very often a special run of FMJ plus P 230 grain uh, it is rated for plus P. People in the reports were shooting plus P HSTs out of them and all that, as far as I know. Um, so I kind of feel like this will break it in faster, and if there's any problems, well, let me know. Um, so hopefully they'll break it in a little bit faster, because it, again, comes with a very strong slide spring. That's why you want to lock it back first, guys. Any any of the any of the cars you get. Carry ammo, hopefully will be the Golden Saber 185 plus P. Again, it's not a full 5-inch barrel. I think I like lighter, I think I like this round anyway, though there's some 230 grains plus PHSTs and, and Rangers and stuff that perform pretty darn good as well. But uh, as far as, I, I want good penetration, 45, 45 blossoms so wide, uh, I get very good uh, permanent wound cavities, but not necessarily the penetration depth that you would want. 
um, especially when you look at real ballistic gel testing and not clear gel testing. So I think this will be my carry ammo. I should have just picked up two boxes of this. I thought that this was not the black belt, and it's not actually, even though it looks like the black belt, how they used to ship the black belt. Apparently it's not, based on reading the box. Um, and I got the regular pressure as well, but that way I can run both in the gun and they have the same hollow point, the same profile, so it should be testing them in my various magazines and stuff should be fine i did i picked that up just in case i couldn't handle the plus p but which with practice and breaking the gun and i should be able to handle fine anyway and i'm going to want that extra velocity i thought that these were black bolts and therefore lower velocity less expansion deeper penetration but they're they actually don't have the black belt bond even though it looks like the black belt packaging like my nine millimeter plus p uh, black bolts came in so um Let's talk about uh, holsters now, guys. Uh, DeSantis sent me this Yaku slide. I've never had a slide holster. And it's going to need some breaking in. I don't even know if realistically it's going to end up working for me. Now, I, uh, to be fair to DeSantis, I haven't let it sit overnight with a sock in it or anything. I have... Re uh, I got it because it has retention. It's kind of made more for 1911 commander size and whatnot. But I've loosened up the retention screws to where the most I would feel comfortable. And even then I'd have to be careful in walking them out because there's only a couple more turns and they come out. Um, and I did it bit by bit by bit by bit and trying to see if I could get the gun out. And I cannot reliably get the gun out, especially at one angle. And I have to angle it the other way. And it's... Don't know if after breaking if this is going to work or not. It's too bad because I kind of wanted this. I uh, worked at a gun range on the weekends. And a uh, famous actor was in there the other day training for a movie. And um, anyway, I hope that I hope that it would work because I kind of wanted it to show off but still have some decent retention for when I open carry at work. I generally do not open carry, but open carry with something that has some retention, decent retention without having to get a thumb break, to be fair to DeSantis. I don't want to relearn muscle memory, so I'm trying to stay away from buttons and thumb breaks and, 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 and real retention holsters. It actually fits well in my PPQSC holster, DeSantis leather. Um, I, not enough retention, probably wouldn't wear this at work, um, but you know, if I was wearing a suit or something and I wanted to class it up a little bit, even though no one really sees it, I guess just for your own feelings, and maybe your wife or something. Um, it looks pretty good in here. The A plus one format, most guys might want to carry it in if those mags turn out reliable. So I may occasionally get some use out of it in that. And hopefully this will break in. I'll put it in there overnight with the slide lock back, probably. Now, I know this works, and I've been playing with it already. In these shorts, uh, I, I have another Nemesis, and this is great. And this hooks on your pocket as I pull it out, especially for cargo shorts. Now, this gun's you could put a CM9 uh, or CM40 or 45, I suppose, in a, in a pocket of a jeans, from pocket of a jeans. I wanted this middle slide so I could use it both for hip carry and for um, pocket carry in shorts, which is half the year where I, I live, or, or more. So, this works great. I get my grip, and I pull it out, and that catches on the pocket, and pulls right out. Now again, I thought I could only do it with the 7 plus 1. I can actually do it with the A plus 1 in there. Um, though you could kind of see from behind if my shirt wasn't covering a little bit more. Uh, the pockets flared open a little bit more. But usually my shirt will be covering the top of my, you know, cargo shorts, Walmart cargo shorts. So, um, guys, the Nemesis are, are great. You see I've got my PPQSC in there, and that's actually a Nemesis that I had that originally was pocket carrying. My Smith & Wesson 9C, instead of the 12 rounder, I modified my guard plus two bases there. For 14 plus one in the pocket, that get, gets kind of heavy. Replace that with the SC, and it just needed to sit overnight. And that gives me enough trigger coverage, in my opinion. I just had to stuff it in really good and let it sit. So I would like a little more trigger coverage, but that's enough for me, and I've carried that way, and it's been fine. Um, 
So you know guys, the CW45 will fit in quite a few uh, Smith & Wesson 9C as well as some Glock holsters from reports. So here's a CYA a left handed holster I have because I purposely got that for a couple of my guns just so to, sometimes I go to the range with gun on each hip to get better to force me to do some offhand uh, weak hands shooting, one handed shooting and stuff like that. Um, this kind of works. This is a 9C holster. It kind of works. I would carry, I mean, I guess I got, I got, you know, kind of gives me enough retention. Not quite enough, but I did put it on my belt and it worked. Now it's super comfortable and easy to draw from at the four o'clock position. 330, it wasn't really working for me um, because the gun is too tight and too thin to my body. I couldn't really get a good master grip. But at four o'clock, it, it was because the way that you blade out kind of your elbow and your body torques, um, the, the, the kind of does this, so I could get a master grip on it and get a good draw at four o'clock. And this is a 9C holster, but I feel totally comfortable with the mag loaded I feel totally comfortable with that um, and it was very comfortable I wore it for about 45 minutes around the house and out to the car and stuff uh, and that's a 9c holster that's my first generic cheapo holster that I've never really used other than at the range for for like rental guns before it's obviously molded after a Glock you can tell um, but this I'll probably carry with a, a decent amount so, especially if the 8 and 10 round magazines function well, then I'll, I'll carry it a decent amount. Otherwise, it might be 7 plus 1 uh, pocket summertime only. But, um, you know, good in-between size gun, Goldilocks size gun, size and weight. Um, and I want to talk about that in another video, guys. Goldilocks size and weight. What's the weight? What's the size of the barrel? What's the magazine capacity? Um, that most people can conceal that the weight's not too much you know bigger guns uh, like a full-size gun I might carry for three hours no problem but when I carry like nine or ten hours at work this 320 compact Glock 19 size gun at 25.8 ounces unloaded starts to get pretty heavy even on a steel Hanks belt um, so that's going to be, even with uh, 45 ammo, especially 185 grain versus 230 grain, it's not going to be that much. It's going to be uh, a good bit lighter. So just some, some size comparison to pistols here, but obviously with size is huge. Now, as far as width, um, I don't like most single stack nines because they're too thin to me. Like, uh, I picked up the CT9 before and stuff, and I might get it, but it's a little too thin for me. Uh, as far as grips, I might put tail on grips eventually, but uh, I don't have a hairdryer, <laughs> so I didn't order them. We'll see. I'm going to shoot it, see how much it tears up my hands. I like the back. The front's a little too aggressive for me. The back I like. Um, We'll see how it does in recoil, you know, in break-in period when you're shooting more than 50 rounds at a time. Um, my, I, I, if it was just going to be hip carry, I might put one of the whole grips on there. But since it's going to be pocket carry too, I don't want to take it off and on and there will be lint and dirt and stuff carried. I don't think I'm going to do that because um, then I'd have to take it off to pocket carry and stuff. And that's something more to get lost or throw in the holster drawer that already doesn't open because there's too many holsters in it. Other guns, Smith & Wesson 9C, I'll do another video, guys, and compare that a lot. 